right. Hello everybody, my name is Inga. I'm an instructor at Sculpt, a premier hardcore Pilates reformer studio right outside the beautiful Washington DC. Today I'm going to run with you through a short upper body workout. Um, for this I have some light weights, two pounds roughly, but it's going to be killer enough. You can also do just with body weight in case you don't have weights handy or use some cans, maybe corn, beer bottles, whatever you might have at home. All right, so without further ado, we'll get started right away here. We have three segments in this upper body workout today. First one is going to be in a kneeling position, in a high kneeling position. So come on down to the floor, find that kneeling position. From the side here, you want to make sure your pelvis is tucked in and under, back is straight, shoulders back and down. If you have knee problems, you can also do this in a standing position or on a Swiss ball. Today I'm going to walk you through it on our knees. So we're going to get started. The first one is a continuous series, so we're not going to stop moving. If it gets a little bit too hard at any point, lose the weights, do it just with your body weight. I'd rather have you lose the weight than stop altogether. All right, here we go. Let's get started with our arms out to the side in a T position, palms facing down. Again, deep inhale in, exhale, shoulders back and down. And to get started, we're going to get started with tiny pulses up and down, about two inches up, two inches down. Your bottom position here is with your hands right at shoulder heights. To keep in mind here, make sure you don't have a death grip on your weights or on your cans, or if you don't have weights, just making fists nice and loose on the fingers. Don't lose any energy gripping those weights. All right, you should start to feel this in the shoulders here. We're about to go into our second variation. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna bring our arms out to the front. So let's bring the arms out to the front in four, three, two, and one. Arms come out to the front, we're finding stillness here. And then we're gonna go into a high row. So elbows and hands stay right at shoulder heights. We'll bring our elbows back, squeezing our shoulder blades together in the back and extend back out to the front. Again, nice and loose on the fingers. Try to keep your hands, elbows, and shoulders all on one level, all on one plane. And let's take this time now also to check in with the rest of your body. It's upper body focused, but your glutes and core should always stay engaged as well. From the side here, if you can see me, I'm bringing my elbows back. I'm almost bringing my hands back to my shoulders, so really squeezing the shoulder blades together here in the back. That's it. We have 10 more seconds. We're going to move on to our next variation. It's going to be a goal pose to touchdown. I'm going to turn around again to face you guys. So hands come up, palms are going to be facing forward in three, two, and one. So palms come up, starting here with 90 degrees. Exhale, extend your arms up overhead. Inhale, back to the side. Exhale, extend your arms up overhead. Inhale, back down to the side. That's it. Keep that smile on your face again from the side. Elbows at or behind your shoulder level. So your shoulder blades stay squeezed together in the back here. Glutes still tight, belly pulled in the entire time. That's it. Awesome job, last 15 seconds. Then we're gonna start working our rotator cuff. We're gonna meet in that 90 degree position. So at the bottom of this goal post here and just turn forward from our elbow. Let's get started here in three, two, and one. You're meeting me at that 90 degree position. Now you're just twisting from your elbow down until your palms face down to the floor and back up to 90 degrees. Nice and slow. So you're bringing your hands onto the same plane as your elbows and your shoulders and then back up to 90 degrees. If you've ever had a rotator cuff injury, you probably did that in rehab. Feeling nice and strong here in the shoulders. We're going back to that goal pose to touchdown in 10 seconds. That's it, keep your elbows up. You're only moving the bottom part of your arms here. Back to goal pose to touchdown in three, two, and one. We're back at that 90 degrees. Exhale, extend back out overhead. Inhale, back to the side. That's it, you all know what you're doing now. We just did this one before, so shoulder blades squeezed together in the back. Remember, belly and glutes tight. 15 more seconds and we're moving on to that next variation. As I said, this first part of that upper body workout, continuous movements, working different muscle groups in that upper body. 
All right, we're gonna go to some arm circles next. So meet me with your arms out to in a T position again. In four, three, two, and one. Same position we started in, palms facing down. Let's take a deep inhale in here. Exhale down, we're gonna go into arm circles. So starting with tiny circles, the size of a golf ball, palms facing down. This is where your shoulders, your upper arms really start to burn. That's it, let's increase the size of those circles, softball size circles. Again, if you need to lose those weights, go ahead and do that, but keep them as long as you can, fight through this. Your mind is your strongest muscles here. Stronger than your biceps, stronger than your shoulders. Let's make that circle bigger again. Beach ball size circles. Again, keep in mind, you're keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Shoulders push down. Last 10 seconds. Then we're gonna extend our arms out to the front, palms facing up. In four, three, two, and one. Palms facing up. And from here, we're gonna go into a bicep curl. So our elbow stays at shoulder heights. I'm exhaling in, bringing my arms to 90 degrees. Inhale, extend back out to the front. And make sure in this position, you're not arching your back and glutes pulled in, core is tight. Keep your elbows up as high as you can. We have two more variations here, then we're gonna take it to triceps. Three variations in triceps, then you're all done with this first series. We're gonna move on to the floor. Meet me first with your arms at 90 degrees here in three, two, and one. Arms at 90 degrees. We're now gonna pull our elbows up two inches, down two inches, up two inches, down two inches. This is a nice vantage point to check out your biceps. Looking good, right? They're gonna look even better after this. All right, keep it up. Last 10 seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and face you again here. Next up, we're gonna keep our elbows at 90 degrees, bring them out and in. Let's get started in three, two, and one. Bring your elbows out and back in. Elbows come out and back in. Keep them up at shoulder height, guys. You got this, keep that smile on your face. Keep your fingers nice and loose. Almost done with shoulder work for this first part. We're gonna move on to triceps. So you're gonna hinge forward at the hips slightly. Extend those arms out behind you. In five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those arms out, quickly shake them out. You're gonna hinge forward at the hips. Start with your elbows by your side. Then as you exhale, kick those arms back behind you. You wanna get those arms almost parallel to the floor. Inhale, bend at the elbow, but keep the elbow high behind you. Exhale, extend, kick back. Inhale, back in. We're just in this full range of motion for another few seconds. Then we're meeting with our arms extended. Meet me with those arms extended in three, two, and one. Arms are extended. Now from here, I'm gonna start pulsing, clapping my hands together. You're not gonna be able to touch your fingers probably, but try to bring your hands together as close as you can behind you. That's it. One more time, keep that core tight. Upper body's working, tricep is burning, but it's a full body workout with a focus on those arms. That's it, and we're gonna stop the clapping and we're gonna go into some tiny pulses with an elbow bend. So bend that elbow an inch, extend all the way. Bend that elbow an inch, extend all the way. Really focus on that extension here. I don't wanna see any bend in that elbow in that extended position. That's it. 15 more seconds. Then we have one hold to finish up this first series. You're gonna hold your arms up as high as you can. Meet me with your arms extended in four, three, two, and one, hold your arms up as high as you can. They might be shaking, but get them one inch higher. Last seven, one more inch. Bring your hands closer together. That's it, last five, four, three, two, and one. That's it, bring those weights down, put them to the side, shake out those arms, grab a quick sip of water if you need. We're gonna bring it down to the floor next. 
You made it through that first part of this upper body series. Second part, you're gonna be down on that floor. We're gonna go into a full release push up Superman combo. So, to start, find a line position on your belly here on the floor. My toes in the back are tucked under. I'm gonna give you two variations here one in a full plank, one in a modified plank. Find whatever works for you today. So, you're gonna bring your hands down next to your shoulders. I'm gonna bring my core, make it super tight. Then push up into a full plank. We're holding this full plank for a count of five. I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer here just to walk you through it real quick. Hands are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Belly is pulled in, hips in line. Nice and good plank form. Then as you exhale, as you inhale, sorry, nice and low again. Resist that gravity. Hold it right before your chest touches the floor. Then come all the way down. Once your chest is back on the floor, Raise up those hands, raise up your chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back. Hold it here for a count of five. Then we're gonna bring our hands back down, push it back up to the top. We're gonna pick up that tempo here. So you're only gonna hold the plank for a count of three and then the Superman for a count of three. So here we go, picking up the pace in three, two, and one. Hands come down, core is tight, pushing up to that full plank for three, two, and one, back down, nice and slow. Release those arms, come up into that Superman for three, two, and one, hands come down. Again, pushing up, go as slow as you can on this push up, and also as you release back down. So we're not exploding up, nice and slow. Here we go, back down for four, three, two, and one, release, bring those shoulder blades together, hands come up. For that modification, when you push up, you can leave your knees down. So here's that modified option, pushing up with your knees down. You still want to make sure that back is straight, you're not arching those back, that back, you're not letting your hips hang through super tight in that core. Then slowly back down. All right, going at your own pace, you know, we're not going to hold that plank and that Superman anymore. We're just going to push all the way up back down to the floor and into that superman option that superman to also lift up your feet behind you we're about to isolate that superman in just a second here awesome job make sure when you push up everything lifts up at the same time you're not lifting up your chest up before your hip chest and hip come up at the exact same moment whether you're on your knees or on your toes. Give me 10 more seconds here, then we're gonna meet in the Superman position. One more rep. Meet me with your chest down on the floor. In three, two, and one. Chest down on the floor. Hands are up. Now we're gonna lift our feet up as well. Squeeze your inner thighs together. So almost the entire leg is also up off of the floor, chest is up. Now with our arms up as high as we can, make sure your neck is in a neutral position. You exhale, extend your arms up overhead, make your thumbs touch, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. High row, squeeze your elbows back, lift that chest up even more, and exhale to the front. Awesome job, guys, keep it up. 15 more seconds in this isolation. Then we have 15 more seconds. Just three reps of that full release push up. And then we're done with this series as well. That's it, give me one more rep here. Keep your inner thighs squeezed together, glutes are engaged. Hands come back down next to you, back to full release push up in three, two, and one. Bring your hands down, modified or full version. Make sure your hips and chest come up at the same time, nice and slow back down. So this time, just briefly picking up those hands, we're not gonna go into that full Superman. Just focusing in on that push-up. That's it. Again, whatever feels right, whether that modified version with your knees down like I'm doing now, or that full one on your toes like we did earlier. Last rep here. 
and four, three, two, and one. That's it. Nice job. Quick shake out again. Last one in the series is going to be working that tricep again. So you're going to flip around. You're going to stay on the floor and find a reverse tabletop position. So your hands are down next to your hips, fingers facing forward, feet planted firmly on the ground, and you're going to lift up your hips here. So you don't have to bring them up all the way to that tabletop position. As long as your hips are up off of the floor, you're working, you're getting that weight in those triceps. So from here, glutes squeezed in. We're going to get started with some tiny pulses in those triceps. So tricep dip, bend your elbows back, push back up to the top. Bend your elbow, push back up to the top. About two inches down, two inches up. Warming up those triceps again. Now, now I said you don't need to be in that full reverse tabletop, but also don't let your hip, hips hang all the way down. It should be challenging to keep your hips up as high as you can. All right, first variation here. We're gonna go a little bit deeper into that tricep dip. Then as you push up, you're gonna transfer your weight into that left hand that right hand comes up and around. You're gonna get a stretch in your side here. Then bring that arm back in, deep tricep dip in the center. Then the other hand comes up and over. Carefully placing that hand back down, deep tricep dip. And alternating those arms. Keep it up, keep those glutes tight. Make sure your feet are stable on that floor. You're not ignoring that tricep dip in the middle. That's really what it's all about here. So nice and deep with that tricep dip in the center. And then really getting those glutes up every time you reach up and over. And we're gonna isolate that tricep dip one more time in 10 seconds. And that's where we're gonna finish up with those tricep dip pulses. So meet me in the center, both hands down in four, three, two, and one. Both hands are down. Let's finish it up here. 20 seconds of tricep dips. Bend your elbows and push up. Bend your elbows and push up. Pushing through the ball of your hand here. Keep your glutes tight. Keep your abs tight and your triceps, I know those are tight. Last 10 seconds, go a little bit deeper, you got this. And last five, four, three, two, and one, that's it. Find a seat, shake out those arms. This was our upper body focus series. Again, my name is Inga with Sculpt. Check us out on demand, live stream, and in studio, whatever works best for you. I look forward to seeing you there. See you soon.